here, my name is Rachel. I am currently losing weight on the Wonder Twin Diet by Cambridge Weight Plan. I started the plan on the 28th of December 2020 and I've just completed week seven on the plan. And I do these weekly updates over round up my week, my loss days, and any like tidbits or advice I may have on that previous week. So week seven, I literally can't believe it. I do not know where these weeks are going. Um, so my 30th birthday is tomorrow. So my main goal was I wanted to lose four and a quarter pounds to get my two and a half stone, which would have been two and a half stone in seven weeks, like mental. Um, so I weighed in this morning at three and a quarter pounds lighter. So I was a pound off, but I mean, two stone six pounds lost um, in seven weeks can't moan at that it's so good so yeah I had a really good week being on plan not like it's just second nature now like it's it's just products water sleep repeat um this week I did try and reduce the amount of bars I was having it didn't really have any difference um I don't know if you've noticed a slight pattern but I've lost three and a quarter pounds now for the last three weeks every single week I've lost the same but this week for some reason I feel like I've shrunk, like I feel slimmer, um, like with my clothes and um, I just I just feel lighter. So um, yeah, I did watch a really interesting um, interview. If you um, don't follow Donna Dybal, I believe on here, she's my Cambridge Diary, I'll tag her below. She did a really interesting interview with another consultant called Jeremy. I can't remember his name. If I can find it, I'll tag him as well. Um, and he's like super, super brainy when it comes to like the one to one diet, weight loss, like he knows his stuff. And he was talking about how weight loss will kind of go down, down, and then flatten a bit, and down, down, and flatten a bit, and down, down, and flatten a bit. And he's basically explaining that you will go through periods of losing weight, and then you'll go through periods of losing inches. Um, and you, the two don't necessarily happen at the same time and that's why your weight losses may like stagnate or seem a bit slower but you've been shrinking and then you'll get like a bigger weight loss and I know some people refer to it as the whoosh effect and um, so if you're not sure what the whoosh effect is it's basically the concept that fat cells are full of fat and whenever that fat is used up because you're losing weight you're in a caloric deficit that fat cell goes mm, you've done this before so I'm just going to stay here so I'm going to fill myself up with water you get a bit of water retention and then that fat cell realizes actually there's no fat coming here so it releases that water and the fat cell um, deflates so you shrink and then you get the water loss and so you normally notice you pee in a lot more and then you normally get a bigger loss on the scale so I feel this week like I have really like I feel like I've shrunk um so I'm hoping next week to get a good loss on the scale so I need four and a quarter pounds to get my a stone in four weeks for this month now obviously I had a big loss in my first month so I kind of expected my body to be playing catch up a little bit this month and just being like what's going on um so we'll see what happens but I I don't know I think I I think it'll be like a good loss not that three and a quarter pounds isn't a good loss um but I've been very, very steady coasting on that three and a quarter pounds. And I just feel like there's due a, like a bigger loss. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next week. Just trust in the plan um, and you will lose weight. Like it's still amazing to me. Two stone six pounds in seven weeks. If someone had said that to me, you know, if someone had said to me when I started this plan on the 28th of December, by your 30th birthday, you'll be two stone six pounds lighter. I would have been like, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, and here I am like it's just it's just amazing so if you feel like you may be plateauing and you feel like your weight losses are slowing down a bit be like it doesn't make sense because I'm feeling slimmer in myself definitely um watch that video on what Jeremy has to say on kind of weight loss versus inch loss and how they kind of work um they work in line with each other but kind of kind of like that like a bit of a give and take of one another um, and also like the wish effect. So all you need to do is just keep drinking water and those fat cells will go. But yeah, I just feel like, oh, I want that four and a quarter next week. So yeah, um, still been going out for my walking. 
I mean, there's not really a lot to update you on, let's be honest. We're in the middle of a lockdown and it is what it is. But plan-wise, it's going really, really well. Um, last night, we did the Slimmers Live with Gemma. Um, if you didn't catch it, I will tag her below, as always. Go and check out her IGTVs because she has it saved. Um, wow, is all I can say. There are some amazing women out there doing this plan. And if you're feeling, like, demotivated or, like, you're not really in the mood for plan or you can't do it or you're getting in a rut go and watch that live because there'll be one of us that you will be able to resonate with and oh my god i resonate with all of them and i think there's five of us in total that speak on there it's like speed dating style giving our hints tips and advice for the diet so yeah definitely one worth going and checking out if you are having a bit of a broad day um I really enjoyed, you know, I really enjoyed speaking about it with Gemma. I'm very passionate about the plan. I always have been. For me, this plan gave us our daughter and what greater gift is there than that? Um, so I'm very, very passionate about the plan. I know the plan works. It's easy. It fits around anyone's life. And I think my main um, message in that video that I want to resonate this week, because I've seen a lot of people, you know, a lot of people have messaged me going, I'm really struggling, I, you know, I'm losing my mojo, you know, I can't get back into it. It's just don't complicate it, make it simple, have your products, remember how convenient the diet is. So there was a bit of a study done, um, or not necessarily study, but there was a instance, if you like, where Google found that its employees were putting weight on. And Google didn't really want this to happen. Obviously, you want a healthy workforce. So they looked into ways that they could make subtle changes that would be hardly noticeable, but that would stop people overeating. Um, and what their main thing they found was that convenience overrides most of our decision making. So we would generally go for the more convenient option. So if there was a fridge full of um, like sugary fizzy drinks or a tap of water people are more likely to go for the fizzy drinks because it's just easier i think they found it takes 0.3 seconds to open a can of pop whereas it takes like five seconds to run a glass of water um, and even breaking that down to the processes so there's like three processes in getting a can of pop pick the can up open the can drink whereas there was like five processes for getting the water so get a glass turn the tap on let it run for a minute fill the glass up have a drink so our brains naturally go for what is the easier process and you've got to make this plan the easiest process so put your products out ready have them ready to go on the side put your water flavorings right next to your tap i have my water flavorings um on my microwave and so they're right there ready for me to kind of put in my water and, and kind of fill my water up if you like cold water have those bottles of water in your fridge you know measure out two liters the night before so in the morning you've not got to think about measuring anything make it as convenient as possible so that it's the easiest option and then that's what you want to go to because why do i want to stand and measure out and cook a meal whenever i can just grab a product and i'm done so you know you can even get to the point where if you've got products like porridge or the pastas or anything like that that you're going to have measure out the water and put it in your fridge so that it's ready and then you can just pour that water into your kettle and you know it's measured out and ready to go um or i keep my kitchen scales in my cutlery drawer and i can just open the drawer and the scales are there ready to weigh the water out you can eyeball it after a while but in the beginning those things will make it seem easy and not as difficult to do so yeah my message this week is do not complicate make it easy and convenient and just remember how good this plan can be for you seven weeks two stone six pounds down i'm more awake even with a sleepless baby <laughs> my skin's never been better my mood's better like it's just all around really really good and it can be like that for you as well so i'll leave some details below of different resources and like some people to go and check out if you're wanting to know more about oh my weight loss is plateauing a bit what to do or you're thinking oh i really can't get on with the diet it's such an effort make it less of an effort make it easy um, and i will also try and link the video that i watched about the google kind of study it's really really interesting but i honestly think the more that you kind of educate yourself and get interested in this journey um the, the more you'll the, the more you'll lose and the better you'll be because you're you're invested in it like you find it interesting so 
yeah on for another good week obviously it's my birthday tomorrow i can't believe it i will not be coming back staying on plan um i'm sure i might have a cheeky little bit of extra milk in my morning coffee just to celebrate <laughs> but i will not be coming off plan to say for it um and yeah looking to get that four and a quarter pounds this week who knows if i'll do it i probably will i'll be a pound off again be three and a quarter pounds again but hey yo if it is it is it's coming off and yeah, I'm one and a half pounds away from the next stone bracket. And that'll be my third stone bracket down then. It's just, from, it's just amazing. So yeah, hope everyone has a good week. As always, any questions, leave them below. And I will look to answer them when I can. But yeah, hope everyone has a fantastic week.